Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 6th, 2023. Well, Friday, we had another gap up and run to the top side, but then we ended the day with maybe just a little bit of softness, pulling back just a bit. But if we take a look at what's going on this morning in the market, we've got just a little bit of bullishness in the pre-market on um, in the U.S. Um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely because um, as of right now, European markets are mostly lower across the board. Um, reacting a little bit negative, looking for a little bit of a pullback. However, Asian markets were up with um, South Korea markets really surging um, overnight because they banned um, short selling in their market. So uh, clearly no one can sell. So uh, I guess everything goes up. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Um, we have oil this morning that is higher. Um, as a matter of fact, moving up Saudi Arabia and Russia over the weekend made the decision to stick to their cuts in production, causing oil prices to surge once again. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. And if we take a look at our bonds this morning, our bond yields are ticking back higher. Not not so much to just really cause us a major problem, but for example, our two-year bond is at 4.87%, ticking a little bit higher. A little bit of worry, I guess, out there what um, actually the long-term rates could potentially be. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's take a look at these charts. Let's try to remove our bias. Let's take a look and see how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, if you notice right in here, we're popping up here this morning, trying to gap up just a little tiny bit in the Dow futures ahead of you know some earnings and and um data today but watching that notice that we've broken through this little downtrend that i've gotten drawn well it's not little it's a big downtrend that i've got drawn up here we bounce through that and we're trying to open um, above that you can see on friday we popped above it and pulled back to that trend so now the question this morning is if the bulls can remain um, inspired here today can they push through this major level of price resistance in the chart and this is a big level of price resistance up here so the the question will be can the bulls push on through there um, this morning and try to stretch up here and see if we can find the next levels of price resistance in the chart if the bears were to find inspiration today the qu big question is going to be will they hold this trend break or will we slip back below it? And I think if we do, you'll want to notice that we've got some gaps here in our chart. So if we were to slip back down below that trend, then I think that possibility that we could push back into here, testing that gap would be fairly easy. Breaking on down below there, then we run that risk that we move on lower and test a price support maybe right through here in the chart and then potentially into the gap. Remember, a straight move up like this can create some pretty substantial pullbacks. And if we don't pull back, we're likely to move into more of a consolidating pattern. So watch carefully for those circumstances. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Now, if we were to look at our um, standard moving averages in here, we did break above the 50 day moving average. So by golly, we got to give that to the bulls big strong straight up move a lot of enthusiasm here in the market 
Unfortunately, not a whole lot has actually changed with the circumstances of the market. Fed's going to continue to hold rates high for longer. And um, I got a feeling we're going to hear a awful lot of conversation from Fed members this week, including Jerome Powell, that is scheduled to speak this week, that is likely to uh, walk back some of this um, enthusiasm here in the market, but we'll see. So if we can um, hold above um, these areas here, that is definitely bullish for the market. I would not have expected that we could have zoomed right up through these without any um, resistance in the chart. So we do have to think about that possibility if we do slip back below though. So watch carefully in here. If we were to slip back below there, that could be a problem. Holding in here and bouncing off of that, that's exactly what we want to see if you're a bull in the market. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now SPY also rallying to a very significant level of price resistance in the chart. You'll want to notice that we're still below this downtrend here, but we did break well above this one, gapped away. In fact, we've just been leaving gaps behind like crazy, like there's no tomorrow, and pushing right up here into this resistance level of the chart. So if the bulls can find inspiration here today, we need to see if we can pump through that area, push through that area, and we're up here testing this a longer term downtrend so watch that carefully if the bears uh, find inspiration well then once again i'd look for that pullback in here um, possibly to the lower side of that candle of uh, monday or excuse me a friday and if we slip below that well you can easily see we could slip back into this gap and to that chart and then possibly even down to the next levels of price resistance and, and maybe testing this trend to find out whether that holds as support in a pullback. Let's take a look at our moving averages here. We ran up into that 50 day moving average. We pulled back, but we ended up by the end of the day holding on to that 50 day moving average. So just think how dramatic this move is. We went from well below, oversold, well below our 200 day moving average and went straight up in five days above that 50 day moving average. And so we'll wanna watch this carefully in here. If the bears were to find inspiration and slip below there, that could be a little bit of a problem. And you can see how that could create a little bit of fear along that resistance in the chart. But if we can hold up here, this would be a good area to be holding in consolidation. So just keep an eye on the SPY. If we take a look at our NASDAQ, still the strongest of the indexes, continuing to push hard here all through the week, right up into that major downtrend. Now you can see we pulled back from that on Friday, um, right there at that line, but we're trying to pump it through this morning in the pre-market push. So watch that carefully to see if we can pop through this. And if they do, I would suggest the next level above would be up into here. But if the bears were to be inspired today and we reject this resistance area of the chart, well, you can see we could pull back here fairly easily to that low of uh, Friday's candle. And if we do that, that possibility that we could slip into the gap and maybe come even on down to test this next level of the chart in support. So watch carefully uh, for those circumstances. Technically speaking, got nicely above its 50 day moving average. And now the question is, will we hold it? If we do hold it up here then and consolidate or rest up here, that sets up probably the best opportunity then that we continue to stretch on higher in the NASDAQ. If they slip back below that 50 day moving average, that could raise just a little bit of panic because you can see we've done that here, popped above the 50, popped above the 50 and just failed to hold it. So that's um, that would be a little bit of a problem maybe for those um, uh, bears. Um, that could engage them and push them to uh, drive a little bit harder to the downside. We'll see. Then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM still the weakest of the indexes by far. 
huge couple of days move. I mean, this was lagging way behind. Finally decided to catch up all at once. Big gaps left behind here on the Russell. As you can see, pushing into a resistance level of the chart. Now, if this is forming an inverted head and shoulders pattern, this is an incredible head on that pattern. So maybe we need to rest this out to the sideways uh, side a little bit. But if we take a look at this, as you can see, if we can continue to push on the bullish side, push right up there through that resistance area, right into the downtrend, that could be pretty interesting here in that chart. So watch that carefully. And if the bears find inspiration, well, you can see it wouldn't be all that difficult to come back into that little price support there. And falling into that gap could certainly create a little bit of a pressure situation here in the market. But again, it might be working on a, um, a bigger inverted head and shoulders pattern there on Diamond, um, excuse me, on the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX just dropped like a rock last week as we continue to rally to the upside, taking all of that fear out of the market all at once. We're down here around a 14, 15 handle here in the VIX. So keeping in mind um, that we may have a little bit of complacency here in the market. Remember, um, rates are gonna stay high and that we have um, lots of issues and complications. In fact, um, we may be moving toward recession here pretty quickly. Um, so we may have just kind of got a little bit excited, a little bit too fast. We can't rule out the possibility that uh, we catch a little bounce in here. So watch carefully for that. Obviously that would be a little bit of concern for the market. But if the bulls continue to drive this really hard here with all this enthusiasm, then breaking this support level down in here would make possibly bring us back down into this level of major complacency in the VIX. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T2122, this is probably our best clue um, here in T2122 that we are uh, due for a little rest, um, not necessarily a pullback or anything major, but you can see we went from completely oversold in the short term to completely overbought. That's one of the problems we have with this emotional market that we've got right now. It's either all in or all out. There's nothing in between. And we'll want to watch that carefully because being up in this area gives us that very huge opportunity for a pullback here in the market. So watch carefully for that. If the bears continue to, or bulls continue to find inspiration, just notice that we can continue to push higher just a little tiny bit, but we're running out of space here to the upside and we've really stretched these stocks higher. So you can imagine if a little tiny bit of selling comes in, there's gonna be a lot of folks running out of the market quickly to capture their profits. So just a little, just a normal swing in the market after a very exuberant run to the upside. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, our T2108 zoomed the last couple of days um, of the market, just stretching big time here as everything pushed back through that 40-day moving average. So you can see we're up above 50% here in our T2108. That's quite a stretch where we were down here just one day ago um, on Thursday, trying to push up through that uh, downtrend resistance, and then we just zoomed straight up here. So we'll wanna watch that carefully here in the chart for that possibility that we could catch a pullback. Um, but if we can hold these support levels in here, I think we're gonna be in good shape. This is really a change in the overall market condition. So if we can hold a higher low with a little rest, maybe a little consolidation, um, we'll wanna keep a close eye on that. There's nothing wrong at all with us zooming up as long as we can hold support. Our T2107, same situation, we finally caught up here in T2107, pushing up through this downtrend. You'll want to note that we're pushing into a fairly substantial area of price resistance in the chart. So about 37, 38% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. That is a nice improvement. So now we just need the market to kind of prove to us that we can hold. We can hold a higher low in here. We can rest. 
hold um, and not just zoom all the way back down so watch carefully our uh, t2101 did have a nice day on friday we saw that breadth actually increasing to the upside so that's what we've wanted to see on a bullish side that the breadth would continue to stay strong unfortunately it didn't quite break that area right there we came up and tested we're trying to hold that breadth pretty strong here in the market we'll see if that can follow through here today if it does follow through and we see those bulls really engage and push us higher then um, we'll know that the bulls are very very strong and what we've been seeing in the past is on the buy wave the the bulls really started to give up pretty easily once right along this um, trend line here so watch that carefully if we were to pull back in the market well we could see or the bulls kind of weaken here today and uh, there might be reason for that just kind of the overextended but that doesn't necessarily mean the bears are really going to gain ground here just yet we haven't seen them re-engage in a um, in any meaningful way just yet let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well obviously we do have a little bit to pay attention to on this calendar but i gotta tell you this calendar is one very light calendar for the week so that may help us out here on the bullish side of things they can maintain here in the market uh, because there's not a lot of major data to move us uh, to the downside now of course bonds can be a little bit problematic for us yet we've got a three month auction and a six month op auction um, with those bonds going up just a little bit today um, but not much uh, not much to worry about other than that international or investor movement index uh, no one's going to care about that as we move into tuesday we've got international trading goods that of course is important this calendar is showing that we've got several fed speakers um, um investing.com actually shows that we're also going to include a um, comments from jerome powell now i don't know which one's right or wrong but i understand jerome powell is scheduled this week to speak so we'll want to be keeping an eye on that more uh, bond auctions here and and um, consumer credit is about all we have left on there on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we've got petroleum status coming in our normal, our mortgage applications, wholesale inventory, preliminary. We've got um, some more Fed speak. We've got a 10 year note auction. And um, I think um, also Jerome Powell may be speaking on Wednesday. So kind of keep that in mind. And then as we look over here at uh, Thursday, we've got jobless claims. We've got some more Fed speak, a natural gas report in here, some bond auctions and a 30 year bond auction that may be noteworthy um, uh, for this week. So watch that close. And then uh, Friday, more Fed speak and consumer sentiment along with the Treasury statement. So very light week on that economic calendar. That could be helpful to the bulls as long as the news, um, you know, out of the Middle East or something like that doesn't create more issues uh, for us overall. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, a um, little bit lighter today. Well, at least on the notables, there's quite a few um, out there. So I'll run through just a couple here really quickly um, and then um, make sure you check the link below the title of the video to get the full list of notables. Um, AMG will be reporting today. AL, we're going to hear from CE, CXW. We've got uh, uh, Diamond um, Energy that will be in there, um, Dish Network. Um, we'll be in there today. We'll hear from HL Helica Mining. We've got um, RNG on the list. We're going to hear from TDC today. And um, Demo will be reporting today. So kind of keep an eye on some of those. And if you want that full list, make sure you click the link below the title of the video. As you can see, nothing in here that's probably, that's the big major company that's gonna move the market, um, huge. But we, will, we um, obviously want to be paying attention to the number of positive or negative reports. Let's take a look at um, 
some stocks that could be setting up uh, but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please make sure to click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be also click that thumbs up button leave the, a brief comment even an emoji counts that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that i do truly appreciate appreciate it. If um, um, you um, feel so inspired, please feel free to share this video out on your social media feed. That also helps the channel to continue to grow. And a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link that you'll find just below the title of the video. Hey, I want to remind everyone that on Tuesday I'm doing a public e-learning so you can invite anyone you'd like, friends, family, to um, to this public e-learning and the topic is going to be covered calls and the details on how to trade covered calls and why I think it's just one of those strategies that everyone really needs to be taken advantage of. So that'll be Tuesday evening 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. It's in the free public room. Just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website right at the top of the uh, the website. There's a button that takes you to our free public room and you're all invited to be there. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, uh, well, excuse me, let's not do that again. Um, let's jump right into these stocks setting up and remember that they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're following your rules and never ever blindly follow my trade ideas or anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure that they fit your tolerance for risk. First off, let's take a look at a few things that have been looking really amazing um, coming up. Um, I've been seeing, um, whoops, I've been seeing quite a few uh, defensive sector stocks getting some strength. So there may be a little bit of a rotation going on here by institutions starting to pick up on some of these old boring companies. Take a look at Campbell Soup coming up nicely in this trend. Watch that closely here with CPB. Um, you can see popping through that 50 day moving average creates what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. That possibility that we could just start moving up toward the 200 day. And if we look, there's a lot of stocks like this in this sector really pushing up. Take a look at Colgate Palmolive has moved up sharply here. We see stocks like um, KHC trying to come up out of the bottom, breaking through that 50 day arrest or pullback in here sets up that opportunity to the upside. And there are quite a few in this sector. We'll also want to remind you that we're seeing some big um, big changes here in some of the discount um, sellers out there, discount retail pushing up nicely here. You can see about ready to turn this into that rounded bottom breakout pattern here on Dollar General. Um, if we take a look at Walmart, Walmart made record highs last week. Um, looks like it's trying to gap back down just a little bit. But again, this is in that defensive sector area of the market trying to pick up. Now, this is going to report on the 16th. So you'll want 10 days from now, we'll want to be paying attention to this. But Walmart doing very well, holding up nicely. Take a look at um, stocks like TJ Maxx pushed up here nicely. Um, in the chart been running and we've had this quite uh, a nice consolidating move here pushed up sharply the last couple of days so any rest or pullback in here sets up that next opportunity and that possibility that they've there's that inverted head and shoulders pattern in the chart so keep an eye on that other places of course that we've got to keep an eye on where we really get uh, need to keep an eye on the volatility of this oil sector um, uh, charts, but take a look at stocks like EQT. Been very volatile, really bouncing around in here, but you can see with oil surging up this morning, that might be an interest in here. Pushing back up, look for a rest or pullback in here. Look for that next opportunity. Um, stocks like OXY have suffered a little bit. Now remember, this is Warren Buffett's 
uh, favored stock right now in the oil sector. He's bought up a ton of this company. Keep an eye on this. We dropped back below the 50 days. So we do run that risk that we could fail in here. But if that crosses back up and holds, then we have that opportunity. We can continue to move on higher. So, so keep an eye on that. We also want to be keeping an eye on these precious metals. Uh, GLD, man, oh man, it's been holding up strong now. We're looking for a little bit of a pullback in here. But one of the reasons that's the case is if the dollar is going to continue to fall as those bond yields um, weaken, dollar falling pretty sharply here, we would expect anything commodity wise then to move higher. So keep an eye on gold, keep an eye on silver. You might also want to keep an eye on other commodities out there that have been holding up pretty well overall. Take a look at U.S. Um, whoops, not Citibank. U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel has been moving up nicely here in this pattern, breaking through some resistance in the chart and resting back. So as this rests back here just a little bit, consolidates. Look for that next opportunity if that dollar is going to continue to weaken. Take a look at Cleveland Cliffs. Um, CLF. It's had quite a run to the upside. Needs a little bit of a rest in here in that chart, but a little bit of a pullback could set up that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on Cleveland looking pretty good. Um, take a look at uh, BTU. Now BTU is a stock that we love to hate, but BTU, um, holding in here on the 50-day moving average in here on some support, you'll notice that we have a trend in this chart that we'll want to be paying attention to. If this trend were to hold the support, we may have that opportunity then to start pushing back up off of that support level in BTU. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to. Of course, all of the tech stocks have been zooming to the upside, just really stretching in there. We'll have to keep an eye on those if they can push out of those levels. I think probably the best of the breed right now in the big chat tech is going to be Microsoft. When it comes to AI, um, and AI, uh, you know, there's an awful lot of hype on AI, obviously, but in in the AI sector here, um, hands down, Microsoft is leading uh, the pack here on AI. Will it always be that way? I don't know, but very, very strong here in Microsoft, breaking through resistance levels. I think any consolidation, rest, or pullback that comes back into this trend sets up the next opportunity there in Microsoft. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in trading. I want to wish you great profits. Be a little bit careful out there and just kind of expecting a rest or pullback could occur at any time. Um, be safe, be careful, have an awesome day. I'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning, and I want to wish you all the very, very best. Take care.